Good afternoon, everyone. In the year 2016, when Professor Jeffrey Hinton, the pioneer of deep learning, asked hospitals to stop training radiologists, I was shocked, concerned, and in fact, worried. But as depicted here, global researchers quickly realized that radiology is a complex field. In the next few minutes, I will talk about four instances from my personal experience of helping develop AI algorithms, which in fact made me feel more secure about my job as a radiologist. All AI solutions today are essentially deep learning algorithms, the functioning of which is not easily inferable and hence popularly referred to as the black box. In the first scenario, while we were working with one of our collaborators to develop a system to automatically estimate bone age from hand x-ray of athletes, we benchmarked our results against a popular publicly hosted bone age algorithm. I incidentally discovered that this algorithm gave different results for the same x-ray depending on whether I add the metadata details like age of the patient, date of acquisitions, and so on. This means that this algorithm was drawing inferences from areas outside the bones to estimate the bone age. We, we used this inputs to devise an algorithm and we presented the work on this algorithm in the general pediatric session yesterday, which focuses only on the relevant areas of the hand x-ray. This proves that radiologists will always be needed to explain the functioning of the AI black box. The second scenario is even more interesting. We published this work in The Lancet last month. Here we helped one of our collaborators to develop an algorithm that can automatically detect intracranial bleeds on head CT scans. This algorithm has an extremely impressive performance with the area under curve of 0.94 for detecting bleeds, probably the best in the world as of this day. But however, while evaluating the individual failed cases, I came across a shocker like this one, a clear cut MCA infarct mislabeled as an intracranial bleed. This goes to prove that while such algorithms can be an excellent radiology companions, an unattended AI system is far from reality, and all AI generated results needs to be monitored by radiologists. In the third scenario, we helped another another global medical diagnostic company to probably launch probably the world's first on-device radiology AI solution. This algorithm can automatically detect pneumothorax on frontal chest x-rays. To develop this algorithm, we manually annotated pneumothorax on several thousand x-rays, and we were hoping for incredible performance of the algorithm as we have put in so much hard work to develop the algorithm. But while analyzing the test cases again, I realized that this algorithm has learned spurious correlations and was in fact mislabeling MAC bands and chest tubes as pneumothorax. We went back to our collaborators. We retrained the algorithm using multiple x-rays from diverse sources, and now the algorithm gives stellar results. This again establishes that radiologists will always be needed even during the development and validation phases of all AI algorithms. Finally, last year, the National Institute of Health released a massive data set of 100,000 chest X-rays with their labels extracted from their clinical reports using a technique called natural language processing, or NLP. Many groups have developed algorithms using this data set, and some of them even report near human level performances. We wanted to explore this data set. Uh, we randomly extracted 800 X-rays from this data set, and four of our senior radiologists reread them. We found that there's a significant level of discrepancy between the labels assigned by us and the labels assigned by NIH using NLP. This goes on to prove, uh, we also believe that an AI developed on a flawed data set cannot be highly accurate. We believe that radiologists will be needed, especially the subspecialist radiologists will be needed to establish strong ground truth for the data, training data sets. To conclude, as, as it's been reiterated time and again, AI will definitely transform the way we practice radiology. We have to adapt it. But 
AI replacing radiologists is certainly a mirage because as clinical radiologists, we treat patients, not images, and we will live to see another day. Thank you.